Hey guys, welcome to Rhino. This is the River North Arts District. Man, has this area transformed over the past few decades. Such a unique part of the city, and behind each and every corner, there's incredible artwork to discover. Located in North Denver with a rhinoceros as its mascot, this neighborhood has become a destination for locals and visitors alike. Lacey Vandermeer is a professional photographer. She loves posing people in front of these colorful walls. I meet people down here, take them on a tour, show them the art, take their photos in front of it, kind of gives the tourists a little bit of background. A lot of people still don't know this area very well. And a lot of people are unaware of the history of this area, inclusive to the historical neighborhoods of Five Point, Globeville, and Curtis Park. Justine Sandoval grew up here, and the roots run deep. My grandfather lives there. My grandmother's house is on the next block over. I have another cousin here. You get the idea. The Sandovals have seen a lot here over the years. A lot of people don't realize this is Denver's first neighborhood. And by first neighborhood, we need to take a little trip back in time. There's a long history with Denver, and there, of course, were First Nation people here long before uh, we populated Denver. But it was actually one of the first neighborhoods that was developed post-Gold Rush and post-Western expansion. Many of the Latino community migrated from the San Luis Valley looking for jobs in the 1920s and 30s. That's when Justine's family arrived here. Before the turn of the 20th century, many African-American families settled in the Five Points neighborhood just down the street. And some Japanese families who helped build the railroad, they started to settle here around that time as well. All people, all cultures, significant to Denver's identity and development. Nowadays, art around Rhino is celebrated, but prior to being established in 2005, the area was used as a canvas to create art of cultural and political significance. This was one of the epicenters of the Black Panthers movement, of the Chicano rights movement. Murals and art were fundamental to really getting that message across, and those murals are actually still here. So if you look closely, you'll find a few gems representative of the community prior to the 21st century. But change is constant, and nowadays historic warehouses and factories have turned into bars, jazz clubs, and art galleries. These streets are covered in displays of self-expression, graffiti art, and many very Instagrammable images. You'll find breweries and distilleries and restaurants galore. It's a transformative and lively vibe here, applicable to the growing Mile High City. What I hope is that people will really be invested in learning the history um, of communities like Curtis Park and acknowledging artists who are putting up some uncomfortable murals too that highlight the change of this neighborhood because that is the epitome of mural art and graffiti art. It's constantly changing and we always need to make sure that message is reflective of what's going on in the community. The old, the new, the ever-changing. I really love taking friends and family to this neck of the woods. Rhino, as we know it now, is a wonderful place to discover and will forever hold a place in Denver's diverse history.